Hey guys, welcome back to a new broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. We've got two cool articles here today. Let's jump into some of them. This one is from Forbes, an update on what's coming for Fallout Season 2 on Amazon. Now, guys, you know we talked about Fallout uh, on another broadcast of the weekly, an earlier broadcast, and we just talked about expectations for the show. I had said that I had watched the trailer, and I thought that it looked pretty solid, pretty high quality, and definitely for a TV show. And, you know, it looks like Amazon put a lot of money into this very exciting news uh, from, you know, fans and very exciting news from people that have seen the show outside of the game fandom. But, yeah, nothing but good things about this thing. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's sitting at a 94% out of 100 so this thing has been rated fresh. Like I said, I've heard nothing but good things. Even people that doubted the show's quality have kind of come around and said, you know what, the show is a hit and it's going in the right direction. Let's go ahead and read a little more into this article, guys. Fallout is a critical and audience hit for Amazon, a faithful recreation of the game's universe while drawing in a new audience at the same time. Though it's clear from watching the show a few things were definitely held back, some iconic pieces of the games, but that's because they wanted to save things for Season 2. Season 2 is still not confirmed. The show is barely a week old, so that's not exactly a huge shock, but I am more than confident that we will get in. Okie dokie, Season 2 is coming. Announcement any day now on social media. As producers and showrunners tend to do, they're already talking about Fallout Season 2 like it's happening, attempting to manifest it. Here's Jonathan Nolan speaking to The Wrap. This is a quote. You'd be remiss, almost irresponsible to not have started to talk about where your story could take you. So we've been talking from the beginning about how this would develop and evolve in subsequent seasons if we should be so lucky. And I'm sure Mr. Nolan is a producer um, of the show. I have to look more into his his particular role in the show, but clearly the guy's an insider. Clearly the guy is working on the creative process of the show. He might be the creator. I'm not 100% sure. But guys, like I've said, um, you know, looked very interesting from the trailer. I've heard nothing but good things. Clearly the article is stating that people are fans of this thing. Yes, it is a little early to start talking about season two. The show has just been released. I think they put it out kind of like a bulk episode so you can basically binge through it. I don't think they're putting out a week, a weekly episode or anything like that. So that's also awesome as well. But like I said, guys, not very surprising at all. The, um, you know, the ratings are great. The reviews are great. People are fans of the source material. They're fans of the show now. So if you do hear any news about a season two, I won't be surprised. And I'll also be saying, guys, go out and watch that Fallout season. I might get Amazon Prime and watch it. I've been told to get Amazon Prime and watch it. I'm sure it is a delight to watch. But yeah, if you haven't watched it and you are interested, nothing but good things about this show, guys. Next article we have from Polygon. If anybody's fans of this, this will be a treat for you. Five Nights at Freddy's. Two hitting the big screen next year. Universal announced the sequel along with Megan Part 2. So if anybody's a fan of Megan as well, which is a pretty cool little horror flick, that's going to be getting a sequel as well. Let's read a little more into this Polygon article. Five Nights at Freddy's, the mostly reveled 2023 horror game adaptation that was also a colossal financial hit, is coming back to movie theaters. Universal Pictures announced a Five Nights at Freddy's 2 during its CinemaCon 2024 presentation on Wednesday. The presentation didn't include any details on which cast members would be back for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 or Emma Tammy would return to direct. While details on the new Bloomhouse movie were thin, Universal did announce that it would be done in time for a fall release next year. The sequel announcement shouldn't come as much of a surprise considering the original movie made nearly $300 million at the World Box Office. Universal's presentation included quite a few other horror announcements for 2025, including Wolfman, directed by the Invisible Man's Lee one l in January, perhaps even more importantly, Megan 2. Guys, like I said, Megan 2 um is is slated to come out in 2025 here so yeah it looks like universal announced this too at the CinemaCon. so if anybody's interested in that you'll be able to see megan 2 in theaters in 2025 uh yeah that does it for that article there but five nights at freddy's another video game adaptation but they brought it to the big screen here uh, i thought it was pretty fun uh, i think it's something more for like the teenage audience the kids uh, i went and saw it personally i thought it was a decent little film not the best film ever but it did what it needed to do um and you know i'd advise if anybody hasn't watched it and they are interested in that as well that they should they should go ahead and watch that uh, i think the budget was something between i want to say 
less than 80 to 100 million dollars so they definitely did take advantage of having that low budget and they use the fandom to their advantage and that's how you do it guys you know you take an idea you take a concept maybe even um an ip that already has a fan base right you bring it to the big screen you actually stay true to the lore and you uh execute at a high level uh cinematically so this was a great example of that and like i said there's some other information there for uh, anybody that's interested in megan but yeah i think five nights at freddy's 2 i'll be watching that as well i think the kids are excited about that and i think anybody even if they're adult that saw the first film and they thought it was a pretty interesting film they'll be excited to hear news of the second five nights at freddy's so i think that's going to do it here for this broadcast guys a couple cool articles there with some good information as i said about fallout it is now available on Amazon Prime, so you guys can go and watch that if you are interested. Um, and then, yeah, the last article there from Polygon about Five Nights at Freddy's. If you guys are excited about that, you just got some good news from me. So, like I said, yeah, that's going to do it for this broadcast. Um, it was a great broadcast. Please stay tuned for the next broadcast of the weekly. I'll have some more information for you guys, some cool articles. We'll see what's going on in the world of cinema and entertainment next week. There's always something new popping up, so I will have some good information for you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Popcorn Square podcast, which will be releasing on Friday, and it is a great episode. Very cool episode. You guys will like it. Uh, that's going to be it for me, Neff, here, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications. Always share with a friend, and more importantly, be safe. Later.